हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल सुशांत चस्पाई टुडे वी आर एट द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज द मिडिलियन पोजीशंस एक्सप्लेन वी आर एट द 17th पोजीशन ऑफ आवर टॉपिक दिस इज द पोजीशन विद व्हाइट टू प्ले एंड विन ऑफ कोर्स वी कैन सी दैट व्हाइट हैज 1 2 3 एंड 4 अटैकर्स नियर द ब्लैक किंग एंड देयर इज जस्ट वन डिफेंडर सो व्हिच मेक्स आवर प्रिंसिपल very very elaborate and true because we have three extra attackers and what we say that whenever there are three extra attackers over the king the combination is possible by force let's see how white can win in this position there are three candidate moves which we must look at in this position there is g6 check there is rook f7 check and there is attack on the f6 square so Knight f6, knight e7, rook f6. This could be other candidate moves. We can start with the more forceful moves here. Either rook g6 check, which we will calculate first, and we see that it is most likely that this rook g6 will lead to a win because the bishop is the defender of f7 and h7 squares. And next, we can go for the move rook f7 as well once the bishop is removed. So after rook g6 check, the main candidate move is h g6 when White black would like that the h pawn would secure his king position, which happens to be the main line. Do note that after rook g6, g6, at first it looks a little difficult to convert this position. In fact, there could be many ways for white. White can play qg3 check, force the king on h6, and go knight f6, which is very strong. That is the direct knight f6, which also I find very nice because we threaten qh5. And Q H seven followed by Q H eight or G eight mate or the other way round Q H five G five Q H five and after the move E F six we have six check King H five and again we see many things are possible one simple attempt is G four check when we need to G four H G K G four Rook F four and mate on the next move after K G three Q H four after K H five Rook H four so G four wins on the spot. So we can say that rook g6, kg6 is not a big problem. If g and hg actually reach to a very similar position, we will see what happens in hg first. So rook g6, hg, and now the most obvious move is rook f7. The point of this position is main is that white is sacrificing lot of material. So we can say rook and one exchange he is ready to sacrifice. So the mating patterns what he will have in mind is using the knight. Or and the queen, and it could be that he may not be able to mate in all the lines. So I just to check the variations very carefully. So after rook f7, king f7 forced. Otherwise, kg8 allows q7 mate. So after king f7, there is q7 check, and we see that there are two variations. Both look difficult. One is king f8. When it looks like the king is still safe, there is only one attacker near the king now. Queen H8 just allows King F7 and it will be repetition. So what can White do in that position? Let's go to the position and see what is happening. White has a very strong move. The Queen is pinning the E pawn. King has no place to move, and White uses the concept of mating net there. These positions are very important for practice because we are trying to imagine the position in our mind. It's not that. We can say I will play over the moves, and when the position comes, even if I am exchanged down and rook down, it's fine. We can't say that way. So finding that move beforehand is very very important. And using the concept of mating net, we see that the e6 and g6 squares are the places from where this knight would like to give check to the king on f8, and the winning move is knight f4, and there is no difference. Now let's play the moves. So rook g6, h into g6. Rook f7 check, King f7, Rook h7 check, King f8, and the very strong Knight f4. This move is missed by many players, and now we see it's game over because Queen is unable to protect the pawn on g6. Only way is to move the Rook away and make space for the King. But after Rook b8, there is just Knight g6 check, K8, and Queen g8 mates. So this is losing. Let's look at the other line now. After Queen H7 check again, we will try to calculate. There is the variation K6. Even here it is same. One will have to look at this line first. 
and we, we cannot play the combination unless we are very sure about what is happening in that position but here we can make out that the king is coming out of course there should be more than one way for white to win here the safest is queen g6 check white went with that allowing the king to come to e5 when he saw qg7 check if king goes back to e6 then knight f4 mates using the previous mating idea and if the king takes e4 it looks like king is escaping but there is knight f6 check it's a family fork and white wins let's play the moves so after ke6 qg6 check ke5 qg7 ke4 knight f6 do note that when practicing these positions at home one has to try to reach this position in our mind from the beginning we cannot play and see these positions okay so after e to f6 it's very clear that white is totally winning now two rooks for queen and we see the pawns white has five black has four but black is going to lose much more material now everything is weak right from b5 to d6 we see the rook is hanging the h pawn is a passed pawn so winning this position would be not very difficult for white and in the game white soon won so this was an out and out attacking position where we are seeing how the attack is reaching its climax or its end sometimes it will be a forced mate sometimes gain of huge material i hope you are finding these lessons useful do like share and subscribe the channel thanks for your time